Uh, okay, in this one, I will explain about how to use uh, Rabbit uh, to visualize your daylighting. Um, for this one, actually, I'm using just a sample project uh, in Rabbit, which one is actually basic sample project in the middle icon. So I just open Rabbit now. But in your, but for your project, just use your Rabbit file. Uh, probably you may want to use the geometry you created from Rhino, probably. Okay, so here, um, first thing, uh, so I kind of switch to views, a uh, 3D view, and then the fr uh, you need to actually set up uh, sunlight or daylight here. So I first uh, turn on shadow, and then I want to see the solar position. So sun pass on, and I'll click sun setting. I change it to still. And then probably you may want to change it to Miami. So actually, you may not see Miami. So here I would change internet mapping service to default city list. And then probably you can find Miami. It's the kind of same thing that you do uh, at the first week. So here is Miami. And probably use daylighting saving time. And then change your time appropriately here and also you can change uh, date here and time and then i just simply click ok then actually i also turn the sun pass on here then you will see how does it look like so that's the kind of basic setting uh, you probably know already this kind of uh, this process so to render in rabbit just simply click this one render you know, it's just teapot icon which is also under tab uh, view tab I uh, just click render and then uh, simply click a uh, render here but here in the lighting setting you probably see exterior sun only uh, exterior sun and artificial so actually here I just click uh, exterior sun only for your interior setting uh, I will probably change to interior sun and artificial but for now I just use sun only and then sim and then also here uh, this one I explained uh, last uh, Tuesday that uh, the t uh, types of sky so probably I just uh, you can just use uh, if you want a clear shadow uh, use no sky but if you want a kind of something smooth shadow uh, you can uh, make it cloudy and then just simply uh, render and actually that's it for uh, rapid rendering uh, it's quite easy and straightforward so um, but the key idea is uh, where do you want which part in your project do you want to show uh, in your project is actually key so critically think uh, when is good time to test it so this one is actually basic as you know this one is a little bit um, not so great because it, the quality is now draft but if you want if you change it to best in general uh, they are quite good so if you change it and render but still the bad side is this will take uh, quite a long time so that's it for rapid rendering uh, in the next one i will explain about how to use uh, rabbit's cloud rendering and also kind of uh, post processing okay